Danger Dolan. From trash wave bosses to overtuned mechanics wiping your group with no warning, we count 10 of the worst excruciatingly dull 5 man dungeons ever released in WoW. Number 10. Sunken Temple. So what made this one so terrible? Well, when it was released, it was a complicated mess of a dungeon spanning multiple tiered rooms, bosses that could only be summoned by touching statues set very far away from each other in a very specific order using information you couldn't possibly get in game. The avatar of Hakar needed a special item found in the Hinterlands quest to summon him, just to fight him, just to get loot. Trash packs were plentiful, but in the case of the Shade of Aranicus, unless you killed them all beforehand, they would chain to the boss and destroy you. And then, in Cataclysm, they removed entire sections of the dungeon and made it completable in no time at all, which totally destroyed the mysterious atmosphere. Number 9. Stone Core. The reason this one wasn't so good? It had more to do with the larger Cataclysm heroic fiasco, but this one took it a step further. Right from the word go, the very first trash pack needed CC. The first boss required everyone to survive constant ground hazards, and even if one player died then it's pretty much GG. The trash directly after that, you have earthquakes which you can apparently avoid by jumping even though it's never told to you in game. The second boss, you have to hide behind the pillars or you get no heals and you die. Trash after that, patrolling mobs, mobs that alert other mobs, summoners that summon waves of imps that need to be AoE silenced, and a giant ogre dude who will crush your face instantly. The third boss, Osrak, the dungeon group ender, unless the tank knows exactly what to do, you have no chance of getting past him. It was a nightmare from start to finish, which is a massive shame since the dungeon itself was awesome, yet ruined for a lot of players. Number 8. Moradon. This one had a lot of similar problems to Sunken Temple, a winding, confusing chasm with bosses hidden in every nook and cranny. But since the entire place looked so generic, it was hard to tell where you were in relation to anything. Even today with the Cataclysm split into three wings, the purple crystals, orange crystals and pristine waters, it's easy to get lost. Not only that, but it was nestled in Desolus which most players tended to avoid, so before Dungeon Finder it was nigh impossible to find a group willing to clear even a fraction of Moradin. It was just a long, confusing place, bosses with little to no mechanics, just a lengthy trash grind through the same environment with different lighting every so often. Number 7. Architraz. BC heroics were hard, harder than Cataclysm heroics for sure. The Architraz though? Ridiculous! Even just getting into the heroic was hard enough. You needed a full group with flying mounts, you needed a key starting from a lengthy quest chain in Area 52, and needed you to clear both Mechana and Botanica First, unless you happen to have a rogue or a skeleton key with you, which you often did not. Then you finally make it in, and everything in the instance is on nightmare difficulty, to the point where even a fully geared knowledgeable group wouldn't touch Arcatraz simply because it took too long to clear, there were too many problems that could arise, and there were measly rewards, and all of the headaches involved, it just wasn't worth it. It was a good introduction to raiding difficulty, but for pug groups, forget it. Number 6. The Black Morass. Trash waves, the same as Violet Hold, only this one was less interesting. All the difficulty came from how fast your group could recover from damage and mana consumption, as the waves continually poured out, all aiming for Medivh, everyone in your group relying on the tank, making it to a portal in time and pressing the taunt button. Bosses barely had any mechanics, they were just health inflated loot pinatas. The environment was basically a tiny swamp of sorrows reskinned of a blasted lands, like Hyjal, a bit of Caverns of Time filler dungeon. That's really all it was. Number 5. Trial of the Champion. This one was infamous at the time, a single dungeon and raid to follow Alduar. The Trial of the Champion shared the same faults as its raid. A boring single room aesthetic, a treadmill of bosses with no trash downtime, and, unfortunately for the dungeon, an entire boss fight featuring mounted combat, which at the time no one liked. There's not much more that can be said about this one. It was just a filler dungeon while the devs worked on ICC and its three glorious five mans. Number four, Wailing Caverns, my personal second least favorite dungeon. The map is deceptively small, but when you take into account they removed a section for Cataclysm and how many layers you'd see if the map were rendered in 3D, you'll understand why low levels could not be asked clearing the whole place. In fact, most people checked the loot table and went for one specific drop, like the Dagger of Scum for Rogues. And of course, our all-time favorite random ass cliff drop that saw many noobs fall down accidentally. This was before Blizzard actually went in and reduced the gap so people would stop falling through half the instance. 
The final boss could only be summoned if you clear a very specific set of prerequisite bosses. Total garbage. Hate this instance. It should be cleared off the WoW servers permanently. Number three, the Siege of Niazau Temple. This instance was ruined by a single encounter. And the same thing would apply to Brand Bronzebeard in the Halls of Stone, so you can exchange the two for the same position in this list. The second boss, Commander Vojak, sends waves of creeps upstairs at you, ones you can kill with either goo puddles or pure deeps. The problem is, each wave is based on time, and there's no way to rush down and handle them all at once, so instead you just gotta wait for a mob, kill it in two seconds, wait ages for another mob, and so on. So you're stuck throwing goo piles bored out of your skull, or you just AFK, which is what I usually elect to do. Luckily, Ian has a Kostas, the elite encounter designer for WoW. Recently spoke out about how they're gonna fix this because nobody likes it, which is good. Number two, Gnomeregan. It's been 10 years and the gnomes still have not cleared the gunk and trogs out of their city. This one has a huge amount of passageways that lead nowhere. Trash packs every two steps. Jumps you can't avoid that skip half the instance and wipe off three quarters of your character's health as soon as you do it. And above all, the instance looks like crap. A lot of old dungeons were streamlined for Cataclysm, but Gnome Reagan was untouched and it desperately needed touching. It needed the warm, gentle hand of Blizzard to reach down and make it stop sucking so hard. Number one. Oh, the Oculus. You knew it would top the list. You knew it would top the list. Everything about it is terrible. It had no original art since it reused the Kaldara subregion. It appeared to be non-linear because of all the rings, but in reality, the bosses only spawned if you fought them in the correct order, so it was linear. And the rideable drakes. Fuck the drakes, man. You had to learn an entire new rotation with the red, yellow, or green drake. You had to actually teach other players because you needed them to do the correct thing, so one player in the group would inevitably have to whisper every single person saying you gotta press this, and then this, and then this, and keep me alive, or taunt the boss, blah blah blah. Players had to know where to fly, players had to fly near each other in a 3D space or risk getting shot down by flying mobs, but wait! The final boss is fought on drakes and it requires spreading out, but not too far because otherwise you get no heals, DPS should be comboing their techniques providing they've learned their complicated rotation, a complete and utter nightmare. It got so bad that people would drop out of the group the moment LFG whacked them in the oculus. Blizzard even resorted to a hilarious loot bag with extra emblems and a chance of a free mount purely because nobody wanted to finish Oculus ever. It was the worst, and it will always be the worst, even if they release a dungeon where you zone in and it punches you in the face. That won't be as bad as the Oculus. That is it for this countdown. If you would like to suggest another countdown, head on over to reddit.com slash r slash the Guides. Have a good one.